Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video. In this video, we're going to go through the practice question solutions to trial and improvement. If you want the full video tutorial on trial and improvement, go to corporatemaths.com, click on the link for videos or worksheets, and go down to video number 116, or go to www.corporatemaths.com forward slash contents and go down to 116, and that's the video tutorial on trial and improvement. Okay, let's get started. So here's our first question. The first question says the equation x squared plus x equals 62 has a solution between 7 and 8. Use trial and improvement to find this solution. Give your answer to one decimal place. So obviously this is a calculator question and make sure you know how to do squared on the calculator and cubed to do these questions. If you need to get a recap on that, go on to corpmaths.com and look at the videos on squaring numbers and cubing numbers and it'll talk about how to do squares and cubes on your calculator. Okay, so it says there's a solution between 7 and 8. So let's try 7. So we're going to do 7 squared plus 7. So on your calculator, press 7 squared plus 7 and press equals and that gives us 56. Now we want 62, so that's too low. Too low. Now let's try 8. So 8. So 8 squared plus 8. So 8 squared plus 8 equals 72. Now we want 62, so that's too high. Now we're trying to find a solution to one decimal place, so let's maybe try 7.5. We'll do 7.5 squared plus 7.5, so 7.5 squared plus 7.5, and that gives us 63.75. Now we want 62, so that's too high. Now let's try 7.4, so 7.4, so we're going to do 7.4 squared plus 7.4, so 7.4 squared plus 7.4 equals 62.16 so again we want 62 so that's too high now let's try 7.3 so we're going to try 7.3 squared plus 7.3 and that equals 60.59 now that's too low because we want 62 that's great. We know that our answer is in between 7.3 and 7.4. And we're picking an answer to one decimal place. That means the answer will either be 7.4 or 7.3. Now, to find out which one it's going to be, we do the checker. So that's in the midpoint of 7.3 and 7.4, which is 7.35. So we're going to do 7.35 squared plus 7.35. So 7.35 squared plus 7.35 equals... 61.3725 so that's too low so i do a little sketch here just to help us check so we know that 7.3 is too low we know that 7.4 is too high and we know that in the midpoint 7.35 is too low so we've got too low too low and too high so on this number line, the answer will be somewhere in between 7.35 and 7.4. That means our answer is closer to 7.4 than it is to 7.3. So the answer would be 7.4 to one decimal place. And that's it. So our next question says the equation x squared minus 2x equals 12 has a solution between 4 and 5. Use trial and improvement to find this solution. Give your answer to one decimal place. So again, we know it's in between 4 and 5. So let's try 4. So we're going to do 4 squared minus 2 times 4. And that gives us 8. Now we want 12, so that's too low. Now let's try 5. So 5, so we're going to do 5 squared minus 2 times 5 is equal to 15. And again, we want 12, so that's too high. Now we want our answer to one decimal place, so maybe let's try 4.6. So 4.6 squared minus 2 times 4.6, 11.96. And that, now we want 12, so that's too low. Now let's try 4.7, so we'll do 4.7, so 12.69, so that's too high because we want 12. So we know the answer is going to be in between 4.6 and 4.7. So let's try the checker, the midpoint, 4.65, and it's very important to do that. So we're going to do 4.65 squared minus 2 times 4.65, and that gives us an answer of 12.3225, and that's too high. So we know that 4.6 is too low. We know that 4.7 is too high. We've done the checker of 4.65, and that was also too high. So on our number line, our answer will have to be in between 4.6 and 4.65, because it's in between the too low and too high. So it's going to be over here somewhere. So that means it's closer to 4.6 than it is to 4.7. So the answer will be 4.6. So question three says the equation x cubed plus 3x equals 32 has a solution between two and three. 
Use trial and improvement to find the solution, give your answer to one decimal place. So we know it's in between two and three, so let's try two and three and see what we get. So we're gonna do two cubed plus three times two is equal to 14. Now we want 32, so that's too low. Now let's try three. So three cubed plus three times three is equal to 36, and that's too high. Now we want a solution to one decimal place, so let's try something else now. Now we're looking for 32, and we know that three is equal to 36, so let's try maybe 2.8 and see what we get there. So let's try 2.8 cubed plus three times 2.8, 30.352, so that's too low. So let's try 2.9 is equal to 33.089, so that's too high. So again, let's try the checker. So we know it's in between 2.8 and 2.9, so one of these numbers will be our answer. So let's try the checker of 2.85 in the midpoint. So we're gonna do 2.85 cubed plus three times 2.85. And that gives us 31.699125, which is too low. So we know that 2.8, is too low. We know that 2.9 is too high. And our checker 2.85, if we have a look at it, it was also too low. So our answer will be in between where it's too low and too high. So our answer will be somewhere along here on the number line. So it's going to be closer to 2.9 than it is to 2.8. So our answer is 2.9. So question four says, Kira is solving the equation x squared minus 5x equals 80 to one decimal place using trial and improvement. And below is her method. So here's our method. So she's got x, then she's got x squared minus 5x, and then comment. And she's tried 5, 4, 4.5, and so on. And let's have a look at what she typed in on her calculator, what she's worked out. So she's got 5 cubed minus 5 times 5. Now it was x squared, not x cubed. So that's interesting. And we've got 4 cubed and 4.5 cubed. So that's definitely wrong. The fact that she shouldn't be cubing there is a squared. It's x squared minus 5x, not cubed. So that's her mistake. Kira has worked out all the values cubed instead of squared. So that's her mistake. That's very important if you're doing trial and improvement, make sure you are doing the right power. If it's a squared, do squared. If it's cubed, do cubed. So explain her mistake. Kira has cubed instead of squaring x. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question number five. William is solving the equation x cubed minus 9x squared equals 300 using trial and improvement. Below is his method. So we've got x, and we've got 11, 12, 11.4, 11.3, 11.35. Um, he's working at x cubed minus 9x squared, and we've got our values. Now, it doesn't show his method, so let's work it out. 11 cubed minus 9 times 11 squared is 242. So that's right at least, which is good. Um, it's equal to 300 we're trying to solve. So he's got the in between 11.3 and 11.4. So, yep, that's right. He's done the checker, which is 11.35. Now, we're looking for 300, and he got 302. And he said that's too high, so that's fine. So let's have a look at his diagram. So we've got 11.3, yep, too low. 11.35, which is the checker, too high. And we've got 11.4 being too high, yep. And if we look at the number line, uh, the x here, it wouldn't be between too high and too high. If it, this is too low and this is too high, it would be there. So because this checker's too high, it would be closer to 11.3, not 11.4. So his mistake is, William, has chosen 11.4 instead of 11.3 as the checker of 11.35 is too high it would be 11.3 and that's it so it's very important whenever you do do that checker, you make sure that if it's too high, that you'll be choosing the number below, and if it's too low, you'll be choosing the one above. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So the next question says, the equation x cubed plus 2x equals 50 has a solution between 3 and 4. Use trial and improvement to find this solution. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. You must show all your work in. Now this question didn't have a table, so I've just quickly sketched one with x, x cubed plus 2x and comment. And we know the answer is between 3 and 4 and we're looking for 50. And we're trying to find it to one decimal place. So let's work out 3 cubed plus 2 times 3 is equal to 33. 
and we're trying to find 50, so that's too low. Now we're going to try 4, so 4 cubed plus 2 times 4, 4 cubed plus 2 times 4 is equal to 72, that's too high. Let's try 3.5, so 3.5 cubed plus 2 times 3.5 equals 49.875, that's close to 50 but it's too low. Let's try then 3.6, so 3.6 cubed plus 2 times 3.6 equals 53.856. Well, now we want 50, so that's too high. And finally, let's try a checker. We know it's going to be in between 3.5 and 3.6, and it's going to be one of these two answers, so let's try 3.55. Equals 51.838875, which again is too high. So we know that 3.5 is too low, we know that 3.6 is too high, and we know the check of 3.55 is also too high. So that means our answer will be somewhere along here on our number line, so it's going to be closer to 3.5 than it is to 3.6. So the answer is 3.5 to one decimal place. Okay, our next question. Question 7. So the equation x cubed plus 4x equals 168 has a solution between 5 and 6. So x cubed plus 4x, we're looking for 168. And we've been told to find an answer to two decimal places this time. So let's try working this out. So we're going to start off with our 5. So 5, so 5 cubed plus 4 times 5 equals 145. So that's too low. Let's try 6 equals 240, which is too high. Next, let's try 5.5. So 5.5 cubed plus 4 times 5.5, which is equal to 188.375. Again, which is too high. Now let's try 5.4. So 5.4 cubed plus 4 times 5.4 equals 179.064, again, which is too high. Let's try 5.3. And when we do 5.3 cubed plus 4 times 5.3, we get 170.077, which is too high. Now let's try 5.2 is equal to 161.408, which is too low. Now we're trying to solve this to two decimal places. So 170. 0.077 was quite close to 168. So let's try 5.29. So 5.29 gives us 169.195889, again, which is too high. So let's try 5.28, and that would be 168.317952, which again is too high because we only want 168. So let's try 5.27, and that's equal to 167.443183, which is too low. So we know it's going to be in between 5.27 and 5.28, and one of these two numbers is going to be our answer, because to two decimal places it's going to be either 5.28 or 5.27. So let's try our checker of 5.275, the midpoint of these two numbers. And when we do that, we get 167.8801719, which is too low. So we know that 5.27 is too low. We know that 5.28 is too high. And the checker of 5.275 is also too low. So if we considered our number line, our answer would be over here somewhere. So the answer would be 5.28. And that's our answer to two decimal places. Question 8. So this time we've got the equation x plus 1 times x plus 3 equals 84. And we've been told there's a solution between 7 and 8, and we're going to use trial and improvement to find an answer correct to one decimal place. So one decimal place, and we've got to show our working. So we've got x plus 1, bracket, x plus 3. So we know the answer is between 7 and 8, so let's try 7. So we're going to do 7 plus 1 times 7 plus 3. And again, we can just do, use brackets in our calculator. So we can do open brackets, 7 plus 1, close brackets, open brackets, 7 plus 3, close brackets, and press equals, and we get the answer of 80, because 7 plus 1 is 8, 7 plus 3 is 10, times them together would be 80. Now we want 84, so that's too low, and just using the cursor on your calculator, we can just go back and delete the 7 and put in 8, 
and delete the seven and put in eight. And when we do that, we get 99 and that will be too high. You see it's much closer to seven than it is to eight. So I'm gonna choose something like 7.2 here. So I'm gonna go back, delete this, the eight, put in 7.2 and 7.2. And that gives us 83.64, which is too low. Now let's try 7.3 and that would give us 85.49, and that's too high, because we want 84. Okay, so finally we need to do our checker, so let's try 7.25, that would give us 84.5625, which is too high. So 7.2 is too low, 7.3 is too high, and 7.25 was also too high, so 7.25. So the answer would be closer to 7.2 than it is to 7.3, so the answer is 7.2. Okay, our next question. Question nine. So we've got the equation 2x squared plus 3x equals 50, and we've got a solution between four and five. And again, we've been asked to use trial improvement to find a solution to one decimal place. So let's try 2x squared plus 3x. And we want an answer of 50, so let's try four first of all. So two times four squared plus three times four equals 44. And that's too low. Let's try five. So two times five squared plus three times five is equal to 65. Now we want 50, so that's going to be too high. Now let's try 4.5. So two times 4.5 squared plus three times 4.5 would be 54, which again is too high. Let's try 4.4. And when we do that, we get 51.92, which is too high again. Now let's try 4.3. And when we do 2 times 4.3 squared plus 3 times 4.3, we get 49.88, which is too low. So we know that 4.4 is too high. We know that 4.3 is too low. So let's try 4.35. And when we do that, we get 50.895, which is too high. So let's do our checker. So let's do our little diagram to help us. So we've got 4.3, which is too low. 4.4 which is too high and our checker of 4.35 that's also too high so our answer well it's going to be in between the too low and too high so it's going to be this side of the number line so our answer would be 4.3 so our answer would be 4.3 okay so let's have a look at question 10 question 10 says the equation x cubed plus 2x squared equals 40 has a solution between 2 and 3 Use trial and improvement to find this solution. Give your answers correct to one decimal place. And we must show all our work in. Okay, so we've got x cubed plus 2 times x squared. And we want that to equal 40. Okay, so we know the solution is between 2 and 3. So let's do 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared. And that equals 16, which is too low. Now let's try 3. So we're going to do 3 cubed plus 2 times 3 squared. And that's equal to 45, which is too high. Okay, let's try 2.7. So let's do 2.7 cubed plus 2 times 2.7 squared. And that's equal to 34.263. And that's obviously too low. Now let's try 2.8. And that gives us 37.632, which again is too low. So let's try 2.9, so that's 2.9 cubed plus 2 times 2.9 squared, and that will give us 41.209, which is too high. So we now know that our answer, our solution, is going to be in between 2.8 and 2.9. So let's try 2.85, so that's going to be 2.85 cubed plus 2 times 2.85 squared, and that will give us an answer of 39.394125, which is too low. So if we do a number line, we can quickly jot that on the number line and see what the correct answer would be. So we know 2.8 is too low. We know 2.9 was too high. And 2.85 was too low. So that means the answer would be in between 2.85 and 2.9. So that means it's closer to 2.9 than it is to 2.8. So our correct answer would be 2.9. Okay, so let's have a look at question 11. So question 11 says, below is a cuboid, so here's a cuboid, and it's got a length of x plus 4, a width of x, and a height of x. And it says the volume of the cuboid is 500 centimeters cubed. And an expression for the volume of the cuboid is x cubed plus 4x squared. And we find that by doing x times x, which is x squared, and then multiplying that by x plus 4, which would be x cubed plus 4x squared. 
and we've been asked to find your use trial and improvement to find the value of x to one decimal place. So we've got x, we've got x cubed plus 4x squared, and we want to find when it's equal to 500. So to start off with, let's find the whole numbers that are solutions in between. So let's maybe try 4. So that would be 4 cubed plus 4 times 4 squared, and that's equal to 128, which is too low. Now let's go a bit bigger. Let's try maybe 7. So 7 cubed plus 4 times 7 squared which is equal to 539, which is too high. And now let's try six, and that would be equal to 360. So that's too low. So we know our answer is gonna be in between six and seven centimeters. Now we wanna find our answer to one decimal place, so let's try 6.8. And when we do that, we get 499.392, which is too low. And let's try 6.9. And when we do that, we get 518.949, which is too high. So we know that the answer is in between 6.8 and 6.9. So let's try a checker of 6.85. So 6.85. And when we do that, we get an answer of 509.109125, which is too high. So we know 6.8 is too low. We know 6.9 is too high. And we know our checker of 6.85 the midpoint of those two numbers is too high also. So that means our solution is closer to 6.8 than it is to 6.9. So to one decimal place, our answer would be 6.8 centimeters. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So question 12. And question 12 says, Nina has a rectangular piece of white card. So we've got this rectangular piece of white card, which measures three X plus 10 centimeters long by two X plus one centimeters wide. And she's removed this region from the corner, which measures x plus 2 by x. And obviously this isn't drawn to scale. And the question says, the area of card remaining, so this white area here, is 130 centimetres squared. And we've been asked to show that 5x squared plus 21x is equal to 120. So let's find an algebraic expression for this area. So this area, this white area, would be equal to the area of the whole thing, subtract the area of the section removed. So we're going to multiply 3x plus 10 by 2x plus 1, and that will tell us the area of the whole rectangle. And then we'll do x multiplied by x plus 2, and that'll tell us the area of the rectangle removed, and then we'll subtract them. So let's do that. So we've got bracket 3x plus 10 times 2x plus 1, and we're going to take away x bracket x plus 2, the area of this rectangle here. And we know that's equal to 130, the area remaining. So let's expand our brackets. 3x times 2x, so that's 6x squared. 3x times 1, well, that'll be plus 3x. 10 times 2x, so that's 20x. And then 10 times 1, well, that's going to be equal to 10. Then we're going to take away, and I'm going to put this in square brackets because we're going to multiply this out, and then we're going to take it away. So x times x is x squared, and x times 2 would be plus 2x. And that's equal to 130. So let's now simplify this. We can add the 3x and 20x. That would be 6x squared plus 23x plus 10. And we're going to take away x squared plus 2x, and that equals 130. Now, 6x squared take away x squared, well, that's 5x squared. And then we've got 23x, and we're going to take away 2x. Well, that'll be plus 21x. And we've got plus 10 equals 130. Now, let's have a look and see what we're trying to show. We're trying to show that 5x squared, yeah, we've got that, plus 21x, yeah, we've got that. And then we've got plus 10 equals 130, but we want to show that equals 120. So if we take away 10 from both sides of this equation, we'll get what we're trying to show. So take away 10 and take away 10 would give us 5x squared plus 21x equals 120. And that's what we're trying to show. And part B says 5x squared plus 21x equals 120 has a solution between x equals 3 and x equals 4. Use trial and improvement to find this solution to one decimal place. So we're trying to solve 5x squared plus 21x equals 120. So let's try 3 first of all. So we're going to do 5 times 3 squared plus 21 times 3. And we're going to see what we get. And that's equal to 108, which is too low. Now let's try 4. So we're going to do 5 times 4 squared plus 21 times 4. And that's equal to 164, which we want to get 120, so that's too high. So let's try 3.5. And we get that's equal to 134.75, which again, we want 120, so that's too high. Let's try 3.3. And that would give us 123.75, which again is too high. So now let's try 3.2. 
and that gives an answer of 118.4, which is too low. So let's try our checker, which would be in between 3.2 and 3.3, .3, which would be 3.25, so 3.25. And when we do 5 times 3.25 squared plus 21 times 3.25, we get an answer of 121.0625, which is, again, too high. So 3.2 is too low, 3.3 is too high, and our checker, the midpoint, 3.25, was too high also. So that means our answer is here somewhere, so it's in between 3.2 and 3.25, so that means it's closer to 3.2 than it is to 3.3, so the answer is 3.2 centimetres. And that's it, so I really hope you found this video useful. If you need any extra help on trial and improvement, go to our video 116 on Corbett Mavs, and that will be a video tutorial on how to do it. And if you have found this video useful, please like it, please subscribe to my channel, and thanks very much. Cheers, bye.